Cheers. Cheers. Just going to put some sausages on and then I'll tell you what's happening in our world. Morning. It's been a while. Where we are right now isn't where we plan to go. We set off yesterday, Friday, tea time-ish, and the M6 decided to mess up our plans. We had three separate major traffic incidents. The campsite we were gonna go and stay at, you haven't seen us there before, is a gorgeous place, and you had to be there before 8 p.m. We weren't gonna get there till quarter to nine, so we changed our plans, come back to our old favorite, because you could get here for nine o'clock at night. So we got here about 20 to nine, I think it was. Had a couple of beers, got the lantern on for set the mood, and went to bed. But that Burns Farm campsite, just outside of Keswick, St. John's in the Vale. You might have seen us here in the winter. We're currently on a tent pitch with no electricity. And it's probably actually better than the motorhome pitches over there. The weather's morning spot on. Plenty of sun, light breeze. It is a bit warm in it. It's about 20 something degrees and we're in shorts and t-shirt. But there is a little bit of cloud in the distance shrouding Blencathra. So keep an eye on that. You haven't seen us for about two months. Yeah. I think it's our longest break to date yet. And it's not that we needed to take a break or anything like that. We just been places that we didn't want to film or did things that you don't want to see. Two van festivals. Yeah, so dubbed out. Dubbed out festival in Cheshire, Knutsford. Really, really good. We met loads of people. I've never been recognised so much in all my life. Oh, Jack, what are you doing? Every single person who came and spoke to us was amazing. We had a real good laugh, didn't we? Yeah. And really, no one recognised us, they recognised Jack. <laughs> There were so many people who came up and said, can I stroke no? Because in one of the videos I said, we're going to call our dog no. That was a really good event. We've also been to Van Life Eats Big Picnic, which was extremely good as well. We went with a few mates. It's on the site of Dummerdown Farm. And Dummerdown Farm, I've got Dummerdown Brewery, who sold some real good beer. We've also been to Fern Cotton's Ooh. Happy oh. Festival. Happy Place Festival. Happy, happy Clappy Festival. Yeah. And I've been to Portugal. And I've done a couple of car uh, events. I bought a new car. Oh, my car is beautiful. It's not. It's a Chavnobile. It is. It's a little bit different to yeah. the Tesla. 19-year-old gangster. Just a tiny bit different. Been putting weight on. We've come away because the kids are back on school now. Jack is currently growling and chasing a reflection of something. So yeah, we've come away to the Lake District. Mm -hmm. It's red hot, so warm. We it's... wanted to go for a walk down the Threkel to Keswick path, but getting there, you have to walk along a little farm road, country road, and the tarmac's gonna be red hot and Jack's already suffering. Yes, we are complaining about the weather, because that's what us Brits do best. We, we got the snow. We queue and we complain about the weather. The views from here are to die for, especially on a day like today. 360 views of fells. It's absolutely gorgeous.
I think it's safe to say we're not going anywhere today. It's just so hot. Little Lord Fauntleroy's struggling in the heat. So we're going to give it a couple of hours, get the fire on, open the beers, cook some food. Look at my shiny head. We're currently parked up next to a big bell tent. And it's really making us want to glow in. So if anyone else has got one, let us know if uh, is it is it looks easy to put up. What you know, peg it out around the outskirts, one pole, you're up. I get that because we used to have a mountaineering tent with the same design. But is it as easy as it looks or as it should be? And if it gets wet, how hard is it to dry? That's the big key feature for me. I don't we wouldn't use it on every trip, but certain campsites it would be an absolute blessing and then I think on a glowing you can take the tunnel off and you could have it just as a bell tent so we'd be able to go camping in the car separately with it let me know there's another one someone's just turned up next door but one and setting theirs up obviously they're not glowings but they are bell tents nice T4 too man we just found out there's a pizza van coming to the site. So I'm just watching Jack, he's about to steal me firewood. There's a pizza van coming to the site this evening and it does caramelised onion and goat's cheese pizzas, which I can't say no to. So I've just got the fire pit out, so we're gonna cook our food for dinner and then have a pizza for tea, depending on how many beers we have. So we're a greedy dog. Chewing my firewood, not bothered. So this is the Kadai mini fireball something or other with the little barbecue lid. We've got my fire making kit, TJM Metalworks mini fire anchor, axe, leather gloves for heat, cast iron pan with some fire lighters, some barbecue tools, a bit of coal. And two bags of logs. The heat is relentless. I'm literally leaking. And the poor old boy, Jack, is struggling. So we've just put the um, Cuscod side on in shade just to try and get, create a little bit of shade for him. We have fire. This weather is definitely not a fat lad's dream. We've even got all three windows open on the pop top to try and create a little bit of a draft in the van. <laughs> Don't do that. This is a beer you might not have tried before. Northern Monk Hot Cross Bun Hail. Stop wasting food, hashtag stop wasting food. When you get these, have a sniff straight away. weird but it works you do get that cinnamon taste it, it, it genuinely tastes like hot cross bun but not overpowering but it still tastes like beer Sarah said I've mentioned this beer in another video I don't think I have if I have I apologize but it's worth mentioning twice and they were reduced in Tesco to about £2.50 a can minted lamb skewers doing nicely and a cast iron pan for our burgers Mm. Good. Mm, good job. 
You look like that meme where it says, no matter where I sit, the smoke comes. Okay. I forgot my wash bag, so I've got no deodorant, no toothbrush, <laughs> nothing. So the best thing I could do is change my t-shirt. This beer was a gift of Dave Kibblewhite. He sent his wife, Rachel, with a delivery of two beers for me and a uh, doped out. What's it called? Dubbed Out Festival. And the Polly's Florette. I had that last week. Really nice. So this is a Buxton Brewery Phoenix IPA. Oh. Oh, the smell of that. It smells like sherbet. Sherbet? That's sherbet, that lad. Ooh. Oh, that's a good one. <clears throat> that's a really good one. Six percent, a juicy IPA with an abundant ripe mango and stone fruit alongside citrus fruit notes from its combination at Mosaic, Simcoe and Eucanot hops. Cheers, Dave. I'll definitely be getting some more of that. What's it like? I like it a lot. Silver over. It's been quite a relaxing day, as I'm sure you might have guessed by now. We've done nothing. Said it's just come back from a poo. Not sure. <laughs> that was earlier. There's a neighbouring field with Highland Coos. I seen one having a piss. I seen a bull and a, ma a female, whatever the female's called, uh, a cow, uh, having a little smooch. And then I seen a bull with some massive kahunas. They were really nice to look at, but right now, someone's coming past on a really noisy truck. And I want to be a. But the sun's setting, the fire's lit, the smoke is surrounding us. I've got beech wood on the fire, and it's really, it really smells really nice. Turns out the lad on site sells wood and kindling. Ten pound for a bag of logs and kindling. Bargain. Alan's been enjoying the view too much, so he needs to hurry up and drink his beer because <laughs> I got this much and he's got this much. So everyone tell Alan to hurry the fuck up. The lightweight. The lightweight. Not bad. The lightweight. Pardon me. <laughs> Just a final note of the night. It's nearly 11 o'clock and Sid has insisted we throw a sausage in a cast iron pan on the fire. Okay. Oh, smoke in the eye. <laughs> Got it, love. Very hungry. There we go, put on. <laughs> what an evening. Sunset, beers, fire. Fairly relaxed dog. We'll take it. See you in the morning.
Morning. Uh, Wonka meter says <laughs> we are slightly on the wonk. <laughs> Aren't we, kid? A little bit. I think the sleeper meter tells us that as well. You might be able to hear a bit of tyre roar, we are directly under the A66 and although we are underneath the busiest dual carriageway in Cumbria, you wouldn't think so because it is, what is it? It's right pretty. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I, th I think you can walk from the campsite, it's mostly about a 10 minute walk, um, you walk along a quiet road and then it brings you onto a path that takes you under the A66 and then you get onto the old railway from Frelkal to Keswick so then yeah. you can walk all the way into Keswick then which is I think three miles so we're not doing that today because it's too hot even though I could murder a chippy but yeah we're not doing that today it's still really humid like it's horrible it's clammy <laughs> it's close yeah it's close so we decided we were going to go up to the t uh, little town near the near the campsite twet 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 <laughs> yeah but <laughs> we were running out of time to leave the van on the site and then we couldn't find any parking off site near the town so but apparently it's about a 20 minute walk from the campsite so there's, if you do stay at burns farm it's another place you could go yeah for a little wonder and apparently there's a, a um he said there's about an hour circular route that you can do as well and it does look like you can walk to the church that we went to st john's in vale church from that way as well there was a sign yeah. post so so we've come to a little pretty location under the bridge where Jack can just be an absolute knobhead. Which he's not letting us down with. <laughs> no, no. The poo as you Oh yeah, she's got a, a dog walking jewellery. Yeah. <laughs> We're just constantly watching out for people coming here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to be talking to the camera in front of people. No. Anyway, it's been a it's been a an unexpectedly really relaxed weekend. Yeah. And it's been bloody good. We've enjoyed every single minute of it. Definitely. I started a new job last week and it was nice to just come away and chill mm. after a first week in a new job. So, so we're going to head home now. We are going to be a bit more active in the next few videos, but this it's, one, well, if it cools down, yeah. I was going to say, if it's cool, we will be anyway. <laughs> so we have enjoyed watching us be lazy fat gets. He's talking about himself, eh? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you in the next video, won't we? Yeah. Au revoir. See you later.